The daunting task of tasting wine and buying wine at a vineyard or at an event. Very easy. <laughs> it's okay to spit and it's okay to throw the wine away. Oh. You will taste the wine that they offer, the gamut that they have. I would try all three, four, five of them, uh, one ounce or so, and sample it, taste it, and swallow just a bit, but then you can spit out the rest because you have a long day ahead of you or you have more wines to taste and you want to be able to appreciate them all. Try the next wine, spit it out, try the next one. There's a spittoon, you don't spit back in the glass. There'll be uh, sparkling whites, rosés and reds, maybe even some fortified wines. It's important to go with the lowest alcohol wines to begin and then move on to the bigger, bolder wines or else you won't taste any of the delicate swans that you would like to taste, the whites and the sparkling. So oftentimes you'll have a few sparklings to try and you know they'll pour you this much and you drink a bit, oh that's very good, spit it out, pour out the sparkling to the next and to the next and then you move on to the whites so you go with the lighter aromatic whites and then you move on to the oaky bigger chardonnays that way you can taste all the delicate flavor each one offers. Move on to the red, same thing, light Gamay, Pinot Noir, moving on to the heavy Cab Sauve, Shiraz, and all of those. You, you swirl it around, look at it, the intensity, smell it, and taste it, and then spit it out. And that way you'll be able to taste all the wines all day. At least at lunch. Then we'll finish with the four to five wines. That's wine tasting. When you've selected the wine you like, uh, most out of all four or five, but you go back to revisit them and then you decide to purchase. That is the intention behind it.